Royal Review, Flurry of Meghan Markle Baby Beds Sparks Boy or Girl Speculation Speculation about the gender of Meghan Markle's baby has increased following a flurry of bets on one particular name. The Duchess of Sussex is expected to give birth to her first child imminently. She is believed to be at home, in Frogmore Cottage near Windsor, with husband Prince Harry. Punters have been betting on the new royal's name for some time. A sudden spurt of bets on Ivy has pushed the name to the head of the pack, with odds of 2-1 at Paddy Power. This has seen it overtake Diana, a long-standing favorite due to Harry's mother, which is currently on November 2. The dramatic rise is especially impressive as Paddy Power only added the name to its betting market on Friday night. A spokesman for Paddy Power commented, Punters have often led the way with intel on Harry and Meghan, from their engagement to pregnancy. And now, it appears, choice of baby name. Ivy wasn't remotely in contention until Friday evening and, since then, it's emerged as the clear favorite after a substantial run of bets. Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, is believed to be in the UK ahead of the birth. Prince Harry had been due to visit Amsterdam on May 8, but this has been cancelled. Instead he will travel to The Hague a day later for an Invictus Games commitment. Harry founded the Invictus Games in 2014 as a competition for military veterans who suffered injuries or became ill during their service. Meghan is widely believed to be overdue by up to a week. Meanwhile royal expert Robert Jobson has suggested Meghan and Harry could turn down offers of a title for their child. Speaking to Yahoo's The Royal Box he stated, the child is not going to be the king or queen, they may not even have a royal role going forward. I know they are looking at the titles now, they may decide not to have a princely title. Royal Baby News, betting suspended as someone knows something. Huge bets on baby girl. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are being careful not to leak any news regarding their royal baby, but a flurry of bets regarding baby Sussex's due date and name have led to think someone knows something among punters. Two of Britain's leading gambling companies were forced to suspend betting on the royal baby's birth date amid growing speculation the baby is already here. Coral and Patty Power issued two separate statements explaining why they decided to close one of their most lucrative markets. A Patty Power spokesperson suggested gamblers may have been in contact with an insider following a huge increase in wagers within just hours. They said, We've suspended betting on which day Harry and Meghan's baby will arrive following a huge increase in wagers this evening which indicate that someone knows something, and perhaps the child is already born. Punters may have even been tipped on the sex of the baby, the spokesperson continued, as most royal babies' names they are betting on are female. They continued, that, combined with the rumors and speculation has us convinced that the royal arrival has already happened and if the betting is anything to go by, it's almost certainly a baby girl. Similarly, Coral explained speculation regarding Meghan's baby being already born convinced the company to pull the betting. A spokesperson said, the announcement of the birth of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first child is expected any day now and if some speculation is correct. It may have already arrived therefore we have pulled the plug on our birth date betting. Coral is also seeing a flurry of bets on female names, the spokesperson added. They continued, we continue to see thousands of bets daily on the name of the child though, with Grace proving the most popular with punters and is a favorite ahead of Diana and Arthur. Coral is currently putting chances regarding Meghan having a girl at half and a boy at six-fourths and six females' names are topping the chart of betting on how baby Sussex will be called. Ivy, a name that wasn't even listed until late this week, is currently the punter's favorite at seven-fourths, followed by Diana at six-one, Grace at eight-one, Elizabeth at ten-one, Alice at twelve-one and Allegra, also at twelve-one. The first male name comes seventh in the top ten of punter's favorites and is Arthur, at twelve-one followed by James at 14-1 and Philip, also at 14-1. Speculation baby Sussex may already be born were fueled by the lack of news regarding Meghan's pregnancy. The Duchess of Sussex was last seen in public 50 days ago, when she stepped out with Harry to commemorate the victims of the horrific Christchurch shooting. Ever since, 
the couple haven't provided royal fans with any news regarding baby Sussex, as they announced with a statement they want to keep plans about their birth private. And, they added, will inform the public about their firstborn's arrival only once they have had an opportunity to celebrate privately as a new family. Royal baby named, Flurry of Bets suggest this is Meghan Markle's baby's name. The royal baby could be born at any day now and speculation about what they will be called is mounting. A flurry of bets suggests Meghan Markle will choose this name for the royal tot. The Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, could give birth to royal baby any minute now. While fans everywhere are eager for news about the royal tot, many details about the baby are being kept quiet. While we don't know the baby's gender, betting members of the public are gunning for Meghan and Harry to have a baby girl, with most people putting money on girls' names. Royal experts and bookies have previously banked on Meghan and Harry opting for a traditional royal baby name, but a recent flurry of bets suggests they might choose otherwise. The girl's name Ivy has emerged as the new hot favorite name for the royal baby, according to Ladbrokes bookmakers. Ladbrokes spokesman Alex Apaddy told Express.co.uk that the odds on Ivy had been slashed from 21 to 6 fourths this afternoon. At 6 fourths the odds on Ivy are the shortest any name has been since the bookmakers opened the market last year. Mr Apaddy said, we've taken more than a flurry on Ivy this afternoon and have been forced to cut the odds to 6 fourths as a result. He added, it won't be long before we suspend betting altogether. If the royal baby is called Ivy it wouldn't be that dissimilar to mega music stars Beyonce and Jay-Z's baby name choice of Blue Ivy, for their little girl. Excitement around the royal baby has reached fever pitch as their birth is imminent. But royal fans may have to hang on to hear news about the royal dot, as the Duke and Duchess have Sussex have made it clear they want to keep details around the birth private until they are ready. A recent statement from House Sussex read, their royal highnesses have taken a personal decision to keep the plans around the arrival of their baby private. The Duke and Duchess look forward to sharing the exciting news with everyone once they have had an opportunity to celebrate privately as a new family. Other favorite baby names include Diana, which would be a touching tribute to Harry's mum, the Princess of Wales. Grace is also in the top three favorite royal baby names, according to Ladbrokes. And there was a flurry of bets on the girl's name Allegra earlier in the week, which would be another untraditional choice. While boys' names have longer odds Arthur is being pitted as the favorite, while Philip is also in the top ten. Meghan and Harry have already proven they are a modern royal couple, unafraid to do things their way. So an unconventional royal baby name could fit the brand Sussex mold of doing things differently. What will the royal baby be called? These are Ladbroke's latest royal baby names odds. Ivy, 6 fourths. Diana, 6 one. Grace, 8 1. Elizabeth, 10 1. Alice, 12 1. Allegra, 12 1. Arthur, 12 1. James, 14 1. Philip, 14 1. Albert, 16 1. 